it's Rogi Pro again and we are going to make a patch cable a perfect one that you can use and I'm going to show you also how we are going to test this one to make sure that it is working now if you're a beginner you want to learn how to make your own patch cable this video is for you there are only a few things we are going to use which you have already seen and I'm going to explain how we're going to use it so let's name the things that we're going to use we have your crimping tool RJ 45s where we are going to use this one to terminate both ends of the cable we have your wire stripper we are going to use this one to strip the wire and we have our network cable tester that we can use to test if it's done then of course the cable this is a UTP cable that we're going to use we need a cable about this long I'm going to cut this one now you can use your crimping tool there's a side here cutter you can cut this one like that okay and it's cut by using our wire stripper we're going to strip out these outer coating here or this rubberish kind of shield out uh, just make at least one or two inch extra here using this wire stripper if you can see this one we have a blade out there and this is where we're going to put this wire let's say this is one inch and then the goal of this wire stripper is to cut through here and to make sure not to damage the eight wires we have inside so we're just going to do it like that and then look at this you can see that one you can just bend this one and you can see that it will be removed you can twist like that and then pull it like that and then there you go your uh, eight wires for that UTP is out now we're going to use this one crimping tool the side cutter again the side cutter here and then do it like that and then that will be clean now we're going to twist this one so that if you can see these are twisted together we're going to separate them and make sure that they are straight so that's what we're going to do we're just going to straighten this one out we have uh, separated them together and then they are a little bit straight not very straight but that will be okay the next thing we're going to do is arrange this one according to the diagram I'm going to show you uh, you can see the image here on your screen you follow that one and we are going to arrange them uh, so we have two types we have the straight through A and straight through B we're going to use straight through B now using either one of them will work now we're going to arrange that one white stripe orange and then solid orange and then we have your white stripe green we're going to go with that uh, blue solid blue white stripe blue and then we go with your green green and then we go with your white stripe brown and then brown so make sure that you arrange this one together and then uh, they're going to be like that so since these are arranged I always do like a thumb this cut here to here I'll just put one thumb and then make sure that these are arranged and then get the crimping tool again you have that side cutter there you're going to use that one like that and then if you can see that one it is arranged and then you get your RG45 this one and then do it like that you need to push this one in there like that and then slowly uh, you're going to push 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 it like that then make sure that those wires inside needs to come here uh, you can just look at like that and then all those wires that we have pushed in should be pushed all throughout the this corner the second thing you need to look into is you, if you can see this one you need to make sure that this blue uh, shielding here should go through here so that we are going to clip it with this one so that if we are going to pull this one somebody's going to pull this one it will be tough okay and we're going to get this crimping tool if you can see uh, the the crimping tool has teeth these are going to be used to uh, push in the metal or the copper one there the one so we're going to turn this one around like that put it there and then push it on like that and then the head of that RG45 will go there and then we're going to crimp this one okay you can do it twice twice it will be okay 
so it's tough so you can see that one it's okay it's good okay so what we're going to do next is do the other end of the cable but um, we can do it a little bit faster There you go. We get this one again, crimp that one. Okay. Now that we're done with our cable, it's time to check this one if it's working or not. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to our network cable tester. If you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have the ground. The same with the other one. So, this is going, if you are going to plug our cable here, let's plug it. That's our cable, and that's the other cable we're going to plug there. And if you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, both of these should blink by the time we turn it on. That it states that our cable is perfectly connected from one end to end. So uh, if you try to think we have eight wires inside, it means that if one, two, eight is going to light on, there's a connectivity from this point to this point inside those eight wires okay now if it's grounded it means g that's g it's grounded so it's not going to work if one of them doesn't light it means that our cable is not perfectly done so we're going to turn this one cut push so it started at the middle we're going to wait one two three four five six seven eight voila our cable is working is that easy i don't know that's how we make our cable so if it's your first time in my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe we have a lot more to do see you next time